All right, everybody. You got to have faith. You got to have trust. Remember that song, George Michael. You got to have faith, the faith, the faith. You got to have faith, the faith, the faith. Um, to the late George Michael, you got to have faith. You got to have trust. It is one of my uh, mental game principles, patience, alignment, detachment, discipline, and trust. Trust means having trust or faith in oneself, in yourself, having tra uh, trust in your abilities, in the methodology that we employ, in our knowledge and understanding of MMT and the uh, correct functioning of the monetary system, uh, uh, faith and trust in our understanding of how policy affects the economy and the markets. Uh, now, I know, look, I've been in this for a long time, as I've told you many, many times, almost 40 years, all right, 38 years. There are times even when I am, uh, my own, I question my own faith and my own trust. That uh, is a weakness. That is a mental game weakness when we allow the markets, which again, the market has no interest in you whatsoever. It can do nothing to you. It is an inanimate thing with numbers just moving all around. You project your emotions onto the, onto the market and it reflects back onto you. If you lose faith or lose trust, then you have basically put yourself on the path to losing, okay? Uh, our, our knowledge, our understanding, the approach, it all works. It's been proven to work. Every single, look, a, a thing that I say often and I repeat often is that every single closed out trade of MMT trader has been a profit. And so, you know, that is proof right before our very eyes. We can choose to, uh, accept and embrace the truth and make that a part of our faith, use it to strengthen our faith and strengthen our trust, or we could just ignore it like it never happened, which is ridiculous because that's a form of self-sabotage. Now, um, we're in a classic situation once again. Short the dollar, long gold. Gold ran up. Some of you last week were, were telling me or pointing out to me about the divergence between GDX and, and gold. And I acknowledge that, but I said it's not necessarily a very sophisticated or savvy thing. A lot of people look at that and it, it makes no, it has no relevance to the macro picture. I mean, if gold is going up, then GDX is going to go up too. There might be periods of time, very short periods of time where they, they diverge. Maybe gold has gone up too far. Uh, maybe the mining stocks have gone up too far. So they diverge for a little bit. But ultimately, they are um, correlated, all right? So now you're looking at it and you say, oh, why didn't I uh, listen to myself and look at where gold is now and look at where the GDX is now? You could take that framing of the situation uh, or instead, and you could take a framing uh, as such uh, where you would say, oh, it went up uh, and I knew it was going to correct and I didn't get out. You could use that same exact framing by saying it's going down now and this is a correction and I know eventually it bounces back up and it continues back up. We are up from where we were uh looking at the last rate hike. We are up from where the first rate hike was in December 2015. To not acknowledge that, to not look at that, is just kind of throwing away the trust in what we do, the understanding of the effect of rate hikes, something I've spoken about so many times. So again, if that's your feeling now, and if you feel anxious and if you feel frustrated and if you are beating yourself up because you didn't take that profit when it went up to 1263 or wherever the gdx was 24 something um then you have basically uh, abandoned your trust you've abandoned your faith you have chosen to frame it in a negative way a way that it is against you which is an attack on yourself. It's beating yourself up. It's a, a cir it's circumventing or undermining your confidence, undermining your self-esteem, knocking yourself down a peg or two or three. And that is not helpful. It is not helpful. You have to have trust. You have to have faith. You have to stay positive all the time. It is 
just as easy for you to uh, create a narrative in your head right now about you as a winner, you as a strong person, you as a resilient person, you ha who has somebody who has trust in what you do and in yourself, confidence in your abilities, confidence in the system, confidence in your understanding. Just as easy to do that than to be beating yourself up and say, why didn't I get out over there? Look at where it is now. It's going down. I mean, these are all, these are all things that make you weak make you vulnerable, make you susceptible to either uh, loss or either or, or deciding to quit the game, all right? You create weakness within yourself or you create strength within yourself. It's like anything else. It's like doing anything physical. It's like training. It's like working out. You could choose to sit on the couch, you know, and be a couch potato, or you could go out and you could run or you can go to the gym or you could do calisthenics or other exercises and build yourself up. That is a choice. It doesn't just happen. It doesn't just fall upon you that you're strong or you're weak. That is a choice. Maybe some are born, you know, with a little bit more athletic ability or, or musculature than others, but everybody can build themselves up. And that goes for the mental game as well. So you got to really, you know, first of all, trust is paramount. It is so important. The system worked. I shouldn't even say system. I don't want to use that word. Uh, you know, we are effective. With the right mental game, you are effective. You cannot be beaten. The only thing that can beat you is you yourself. The market doesn't care about you. It could never beat you. It has no interest in you whatsoever. It has no ability to affect your emotions. You control your emotions. You control the way you frame the situation. You could choose to frame it in a defeatist way with a defeatist attitude and ignore uh, reality, which is that we win every single time and pretend that's not you know what happens when it actually is and create this story in your head that everything is lost and you should have done that and you should have did this and why didn't you do that instead of looking at the situation and understanding and knowing that things turn around and what the fundamentals are. And it's been like that every single time. It's been the same pattern over and over and over again. You could choose to trust in that something which has shown itself to be true every single time. And even if it's not true, even in times that maybe uh, the, the, uh, the analysis wasn't 100% correct, we still get out with profits. So it's a choice. Everything is a choice. And you have control over those choices. You and you alone have control over those choices. The market doesn't have control over those choices Somebody else on TV or, or, or some other YouTuber doesn't have control over those choices. Something you read in a book doesn't have control over those choices. You have control over those choices. So make the choice. You're either a winner or you're a loser. Don't be like the people who say, this is not my style because that's just a euphemism. That's just another way. That's a code way of saying I am a loser. They won't accept it. They won't accept it so they, they, they frame it. Everybody frames everything the way they want, okay? If you are a loser, most likely you're not going to come out and say you're a loser. And most likely you're happy being a loser, but you don't even understand that. But you're going to say it in a way that makes it sound like it's not your fault, like it's something external, okay? Like it's something you have no control over. That is BS. That is garbage. That is crap. You have control over everything, 100% over every outcome. You have control. All right, at least insofar as it comes to trading, you have control. All right, you might not have control about you know uh, getting on an airplane and that thing goes down, but thank goodness you're not in that situation. You're dealing in the markets where you have control over profit and loss. So start to think that way. Start to think that way, and stop thinking in a negative fashion, and stop casting away your trust and your faith. And stop ignoring reality, the reality being that we win every single time. You know, look at it. It's there. It's a fact. It's a reality. Accept it. It's not a bad thing, believe me, to win every single time. That's what we do. That's what we do. Bye.